Hello everyone, welcome back to Touch Fire Twice. I'm Joshua and I'm here today to do an in-depth sniff and comparison review of the Homeworks by Slatkin & Co. Garden Blooms Candle and Reed Diffuser, in fact, which I have the box here, I'll show you the actual diffuser uh, in a bit, uh, of the Garden Blooms Candle. This is the traditional 18 ounce big honkin' four wick with the uh, silver kind of chrome lid, classic Homeworks by Harry Slatkin slash by Slatkin & Co. Um, candle really love this one right off the bat um you know florals are not always my favorite though there's really no category that i dislike in home fragrance or honestly almost in, in body fragrance i'll go you know the herbal i'll go gourmand i'll go woody i'll go fresh herbal whatever really floral um but this is far and away my favorite floral honestly of all time now i love you know some of the honeysuckles and the fresh blooms the first bloom um, you know, the, a rose in the right way. I can do rose, iris, really across the board. I'm pretty, I'm pretty down for whatever. But I will say this is the most unique, the most fresh, um, and in some ways, I, for me, it feels the most approachable uh, floral uh, across many different versions of floral um, because it, it's just so authentic and clean. It doesn't lean perfumey, it doesn't lean overly powdery, it doesn't lean in any one direction, um, you know, too dewy, too astringent, too whatever. It is just an authentic interpretation of sort of a bunch of freshly picked spring flowers from the garden or in a, in a floral shop, right? So I will say also right off the bat, I'm comparing this just to one other candle, which is Flower Shop from Slacken & Co., the BBW Slacken & Co. era. Um, and that's what I'm, what I'm comparing it to because there are many, many, many uh, floral scents out there in all brands, including Bath Metrics and in Homeworks and previously Slacken & Co. Uh, but this is not, you know, it could be similar to a rose here, a daffodil here, because it pulls in so many different florals, uh, but not going to go down that road. But I will compare it to Flower Shop because they are incredibly, incredibly similar. So the notes on this one here to start for Garden Blooms from Homeworks, we've got Freesia, Rosewater, Jasmine, and Georgia Peach. And then I will actually also say that on the diffuser, there are some additional notes. So they say a radiant bouquet of dewy green petals and white jasmine is enveloped in the sweetness of white peach and fresh picked apricot. So adding that to the mix. Um, I will say this was, this is probably my second or third garden blooms from Homeworks. This is the, I purchased this this year, but this is the older packaging. They now have a really vibrant kind of pop art all over um, blooms version that is for sale or will be for sale shortly. Um, and then I actually purchased the Reed Diffuser. First time I've actually ever purchased a Reed Diffuser in any brand. Um, and these were on clearance or discount on QVC. Uh, love the scent and figured why not grab Garden Blooms to have them around as much as I can because it's so wonderful. So I will get into some of the performance I have opened um, and have been using one of those performance in this as well. Um, just as you can see, really beautiful lightly mint green wax. I love that it's not pink or flower colors. It's really the green because there's a lot of greens in here. Um, but beautiful burn as you can see here in the footage. So this gets a really deep pull, a really strong throw. It doesn't choke you out, but it is intense and you can smell it throughout the room, throughout the, you know, the, the open concept area where I was burning it. Uh, and certainly in a bedroom, it will fill a bedroom or a smaller space like that. Sniffing it, it's just, it's so fresh. It's, it's, it's early spring. You could burn it nearly year round, um, but it also works for, it's not your hot white tropical florals. It is the fresh spring florals. So when you first see, you know, daffodils in, in the flower shop or in the market or wherever you, you know, buy flowers or literally popping up out of the ground in front of your home, um, you get like, you know, the daffodil and tulips. Those are in here. Now it says freesia, rose water. So not, not just your intense rose, but a little bit, you know, um, a rose water, which is the essence of rose, but not necessarily as intensely the petals and, and everything. Jasmine, which is typically pretty sweet, but throwing in some peach and apricot, I will say, you know, Harry is, is you know, known for putting some a little bit of fruits in most of his florals. And a lot of his fruits have just a little hint of floral in it as well. Uh, this though, I will say, I don't majorly pick out peaches or even apricot, though sometimes apricot does just bring like a creaminess, which is a little bit of creaminess in here. Um, it's welcomed if it is in there, but it's not a primary note in this. For me, I wouldn't even necessarily put it in, you know, top four notes for it when we're talking about just, you know, the four notes on the bottom of the candle. 
This, I, I, ha I can't talk about this without talking about Flower Shop, so I'm gonna go back and forth. So I, I will say these are nearly identical, though I will say that I do think Garden Blooms is an elevation of the original Flower Shop, which was a Slacken & Co. formulation of Bath & Body Works. Uh, the reason why I wanna start and go back and forth between the two beyond just my initial first sniff of Garden Blooms is because there are additional notes listed on here. So for Flower Shop, uh, so this was released, this one actually was, I believe, maybe the first time it went wide uh, in the spring of 2012, but it was a test scent in the kind of old school Slacken & Co. BBW packaging in 2011 um, that I did purchase. I think I still maybe have in my collection or perhaps burned mostly through. Um, but the notes on this at the time were the delightful scent of fresh cut spring flowers, sweet lilac, pink freesia, and hyacinth layered with cooling greens. And you see here, this one again was poured uh, late 2011, like you know, December of 2011 for the 2012 spring floral uh, release, Flower Shop. Flower Shop really was the perfect name for this. Garden Blooms, absolutely also perfect because it is fresh, it's spring, it's dewy, it's green. But Flower Shop in the sense that, honestly, you know, it's, it's lilac, freesia, hyacinth, rose. I get maybe a little bit of a hydrangea in there. Um, perhaps you get the, the tulip, some, again, daffodil, maybe not quite daisy, like a wildflower kind of thing, but the, the daffodils. And you get, honestly, this is, some people don't like this because they think they're cheap, but carnations, that traditional flower shop fragrance of, you know, carnations. Some people said, oh, it's like a funeral home scent. I disagree. Um, I, flowers are flowers. What You could call it a wedding. You could call it a, a, anything you want. They, they're they celebratory and they're honorary, right? That's what flowers are used for. Um, the big thing with this that makes this especially unique, aside from being a really beautifully blended version of fresh flowers, freshly cut flowers, not dried, not whatever, is the cooling greens. Now, I don't know if it's like palm leaves or baby's breath or specifically what the greens are. Um, maybe Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie, as, as a florist, might have a better sense of what are some greens that actually do give, you know, a fragrance versus just, you know, looking pretty as, as filler within an arrangement. Um, but it's almost like when you cut, I guess it could be even, the cooling greens are almost like the stems as well, like a freshly cut flower before it goes into an arrangement or, um, you know, a, a vase. Um, because it's not greens like herbs or, you know, your verbenas or anything in, in that realm. Um, it really is just the cooling greens almost of the, the stems. Cooling also not meaning minty. Cooling just being, it brings this down a notch from being just a, a flower bomb there's that green essence that makes it calmer, a little bit dewy, fresh, but at the same time, not it's not walking in a field or a florals. It really is like the fresh cut. <laughs> so it really is like a bouquet, a flower bouquet it could almost be, right? It's just amazing, I love it. So I always loved Flower Shop and it was a Bath & Body Works under Slack & Co once or twice. It was gone for a while. It wasn't one of the core florals in the in the spring collections. Typically, came back as Amsterdam tulips and windmills. Silly marketing uh, at Bath and Butterworks and that in like 2014, 2015. And I think that may have been the last time. Perhaps one other time it came out in recent years. But it's not a standard at, at Bath and Butterworks, which is disappointing. But if you know, this is very much one that I would say Harry bring them back within homework since this was a Slack and Co blend, which happily enough, a few years ago he did with Garden Blooms and it is coming back again this year, which makes me happy that they're continuing with it. But again, it's, I don't know what more I can say other than it really is. All of those across both labels, the, the listing, a little bit of the rose, certainly the freesia, the jasmine, though not too, too much of the sweet jasmine for me, more of the daffodils, the tulips, the hyacinth, maybe a little hydrangea, all of the spring florals, uh, lilac, Yes, some lilac, but it doesn't go heavy in the lilac because that, that tends to, in my mind, that kind of the purple lilac scent can sometimes overwhelm blends. Certainly, Fresh Cut Lilacs is its own fragrance for many brands. Um, it's there, but just a little bit. Actually, what I would call this, this is the floral version of Kitchen Herbs, if Kitchen Herbs is the herbal version of <laughs> Garden Blooms, in the sense that uh, in, in my Kitchen Herbs review with Homeworks, I talked about it is completely balanced. You smell, there's not like, oh, the basil takes over or, you know, rosemary takes over. It is completely balanced of all the different herbs that are said to be in there and the ones that are not even necessarily listed in the couple of notes we get from it. And it, they all just kind of like, it's one of those things where it, it really dances when it's lit. You're going to get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's almost like you have multiple candles going at once because it's not just two or three notes, straightforward. It really does ebb and flow 
like a piece of music. Um, and that's what Kitchen Herbs does fantastically. And that's what Garden Blooms does fantastically. One being the herbal and the greens, this being the florals, uh, fresh cut florals with a little bit of the cooling greens in there just to make it abundantly fresh and like a flower shop or a floral shop um, or a botanical garden or, or you know, a conservatory or something like that. It just smells, it's, again, it's, it doesn't smell like you're smelling a candle. It smells like you're smelling a true bouquet of freshly cut spring flowers. And I love it. It's strong, but not overwhelming because it has the greens in it. And it has that fresh factor to it that is just next to nothing. It, it really is the best. If you're gonna buy one floral, to me, this is the one to buy. And then doing a review of the reed diffusers. So Harry has these in a fair number of the homeworks by Slackman & Co. Uh, since this was sold as a set of two, so they're four ounces. I'll actually show it here. Um, I think most people are familiar with what reed diffusers are. Many you know, brands have them. Nest, uh, Laura Slacken's Nest also sells a lot of reed diffusers. So it's a glass jar with four ounces of a fragrance oil formulated to evaporate and go through these thin wooden reeds. And so you get this in the package and you just unscrew the cap, you take a little protective cap off, you open your pack of eight reeds, you drop it in and you set it and forget it. And it's something where, you know, they say a month or so, this has been going for maybe close to a week and it's barely reduced uh, the, the amount of oils in there. And they say every once in a while, maybe flip the reeds to sort of refresh them, drop them you know, back into the bottom so that the, the oil starts climbing back up and it's kind of fresh and wet and really, uh, throwing the scent. I will say this throws as strong or sh even in some senses stronger, I think, than your typical wall plugins or, or certainly like the BBW wallflowers, which is the only wall plugin that I've used so far. Um, I've put this in my guest room and when I walk by the guest room, let alone in the guest room on a, a secretary desk towards the front um, of the room, it really does waft out into the hallway a bit. Not too much, so it doesn't, you know, take over if I have candles burning in the hallway or something like that in the loft space back here. Uh, but just enough that you know it's there and it's worth paying for essentially. So I'm really happy with this. Again, I'm just happy with Garden Blooms being one of those scents where, you know, I probably should stock up on it because if it were to go away, it would really be a bummer because it's a core spring scent for me. But having it in this form and getting a set of two of these, which is a great value, I think it was between $20 and $30 for the set of two of them, really is fantastic because it is a way to continue to have that scent um, throughout the home on a regular basis. So straightforward glass vessel with the Homeworks uh, metallic uh, Harry Slack and Homeworks logo there, and very straightforward. These would be great also for gifting um, because you do get a set of two boxes like this. So one of them is completely unopened. Um, really great branding, descriptions, notes, it's, it's really, I've been impressed. I, I never got them before because I thought, oh, are they fussy, did they get in the way, did they really work? These are working great and they have the exact same perfectly strong scent as the candle does. So if you have not checked out Garden Blooms and you're not necessarily a floral person, give it a shot. I think you'll like it. Um, would love to hear what you think. You know, what other candle or what other florals do you smell in this? What am I missing in this? Are there other scents that you think layer with this nicely? Uh, what do you love? What do you not love? Want to hear it? And until next time, take care.